When choosing fascia for your home, whether you're replacing your roof or just updating one component, there are a lot of options to choose from. I'm Thomas Williams with Colony Roofers, and today we're going to talk about two of the most common choices for fascia, PVC and wood, and give you an honest comparison on how they stack up to one another. Before you can really consider what type of fascia is best for your home, it's important to know just what fascia is and its function. Fascia is also sometimes called freeze board or closed barge board, and it's a long horizontal trim that runs along the eave. Fascia provides insulation and ventilation, and it shields the underside of your roof against the elements. Fascia also serves as an aesthetic purpose as it provides a clean line along the edge of your roof. Whenever you're comparing two things, you'll want to take several factors into consideration, such as cost, durability, maintenance, and aesthetics. Let's talk a little bit more about each of these. So how do PVC and wood stack up against one another in terms of cost? There isn't much nuance in this category. Wood is going to be the cheaper option every time. Not only is wood the most common fascia material, it's also the most readily available. Because of this, wood fascia will typically cost between $1 and $3 per linear foot. PVC fascia, on the other hand, will run you about $3 to $7 per linear foot. Next, let's talk about durability. PVC fascia is more weather resistant and will offer better protection from water damage and mold growth. PVC fascia is also resistant to rot, twisting, splitting, and warping, all of which are issues that can affect fascia made from wood. However, PVC fascia does expand and contract more with fluctuating temperatures. It can actually shrink up to an eighth of an inch between summer and winter. This is more than enough to be noticeable and definitely enough to break a glue joint. This shrinkage can allow water infiltration, which is why it's so important to make sure that your PVC fascia is installed properly and at the ideal temperature. Wood fascia isn't as durable as PVC fascia, though it will still do the job in protecting your home. Like we mentioned though, wood can be prone to rot, cracks, splitting, warping, and even termites and wood boring insects. If you're looking for the lower maintenance option, PVC fascia is the choice for you. Wood fascia requires regular upkeep and maintenance to protect it from the issues we discuss, like rot, cracking, and splitting. You may need to reapply the waterproofing on wood fascia, and you'll want to repaint it when the paint begins to crack, which can be as often as every few years. PVC fascia may require more cleaning, particularly if it's white, to keep it from looking dingy, but this is more of an aesthetic concern, and in terms of other maintenance, it's minimal. PVC and wood fascia board both have distinct aesthetics. While they can look similar, there is a certain classic quality to wood fascia that PVC just can't match. PVC tends to look more modern, so it's a great choice for newer homes. No matter what you choose, they both come in a variety of colors and finishes, so you aren't limited in terms of color with either option. So, which is really better? PVC fascia is superior in terms of durability, maintenance, and longevity. However, PVC is the more expensive option between the two. Ultimately, your choice comes down to personal preference and aesthetics. Older homes, or homes with a more rustic appearance, might not be suited by the more modern look of PVC fascia, and wood may be able to provide you with the look you need. At the end of the day though, for a low maintenance fascia board that will last a long time, PVC is the better choice. No matter which fascia board you choose, Knowing how to properly care for it is essential to maintaining its longevity. Regular cleaning is very important. For PVC fascia, you can clean with soap or a cleaning solution to easily remove dirt, grime, and pests that could damage the surface. Wood fascia needs a more gentle cleaning, and many cleaning solutions can actually damage the wood. To clean wood fascia, use water, a mild soap, and a soft brush. Wood fascia also requires treatment with a sealer or waterproof coating every so often to protect it from rot or water damage. And finally, both types of fascia should be visually inspected on a regular basis for any obvious signs of damage. If your home needs new fascia, or if you have any questions about choosing a fascia that suits your needs, you can always give us a call at Colony Roofers. 
We have a knowledgeable team of professionals who are always ready to help out no matter what your roofing needs may be. Thanks for watching.